Okay. So, let's check out what else we can do. I think in the last video I ended up just talking about myself or something like I'm an exciting person or something like that. I guess uh, I, I'm pretty much more animated than I ever have been in all, in all my videos because I'm very excited about the NXT and uh, you know I'm getting a chance to, to talk about it and share what I know about it with some people and hopefully someone is going to teach me something something new about it so let's check it out so let's load up this patch you know we'll, we'll go back to the same piece of audio that we started out with uh, right at the beginning when we recorded and first made our first selection and our first rex, rex file okay so here we go got it loaded up now what can we do with this right it's the question let's click to the left here and of course uh we since uh you know we've got this situation where when you hit a key if you if you just take note here if i make a short note it just cuts off so we can just uh, increase the release so it plays all the way to the end you know it's got that weird echoey thing that's from that stretch that we did in uh and recycle but maybe it will help out when we pitch it up I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes when you're making the beak you can just you will know, work back and forth you know you're not gonna get to the end point straight away sometimes it takes a little bit of time and sometimes it's easier you know that's how these things work you know sometimes it's just fun to make a beat anyway so we've got that all stretched out and now on top of that what you can do is you can set the polyphony to uh, to one just like you, you can do the same in, uh, in the dr rex uh loop player and in the in the 19 you've got the polyphony controls here and over there so basically what we've done that we, you know it was at eight and now we took it down to one and that means that you know it's it's, it's going to play one key at, at, at a time you know uh and then once you have it like that we can do some exciting things with the individual chops inside the NXT so the first thing remember when I loaded up all the long files you know all, you know this this uh, this whole file here with you know our first like a uh, loop piece of audio that we extracted from the song what some people actually do is that they'll map it, they'll map the sounds chromatically, and then they'll come in here and they'll start setting, you know, the start and end points, and they'll actually chop it up inside the NXT. You know, some people just I like that. Maybe they want to, they want to be able to constantly tweak their chops, you know, as they work. And you can do that because as you can see you take a longer sound yeah we take this first one here well I'll show you that we're using the first sample by just clicking here and then it will show you right over there so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the start point of that so we're going to make it uh, you know we're gonna truncate the beginning of it and start further inside the loop. We've started playing inside the, the sample, sorry. So check this out, we just increase that. And we can do the same for the end. way back up right that's one thing that we can do to a sound now even more interesting is the play mode of a key now right now it's set to play forward right it's playing forward it's all good right now we can adjust it and then it will loop forward just the key just that one note right and just hit it once and it's just looping on its own 
you know, with the release, it's going down on its own. So just cut it off, play another key, right? You take it back to use four, so it stops doing that, right? And then we can make it loop forward. Uh, we can make it loop forward and then backwards over and over again when we hold down the note. So check this out. Now that's something interesting. You could do something new with that. You see? And then it just fades out with the with the release. Now something else we can do is it'll only loop forward when we uh actually holding down the key. So if you just uh, watch over here, right? I release, nothing happens. But if I hold it down, okay, you can't really see that unfortunately. It just indicates it when I when I hit the key. I didn't realize that's that's what it does. But uh, basically I was holding down the note and it kept looping forward. And then we can just play the whole piece of audio backwards. Of course, because we could we could play it forwards and then backwards, you know, loop forwards and backwards. Now we can just play it backwards straight up. Every time we hit the key. And that gives you a possibility to do something else with some with, with some sounds. Now even more interesting is the fact that, you know, we've got a looping forward here. Okay, let's go to to the loop sustain because that's easier to manage. Now you know it's it's starting at the beginning and of course I have already shown you that we can adjust the start the start point and the end point. But what we can also do is we can adjust the where it's it starts looping from. So right now you can hear it it starts it was starting right at the beginning of the sound. Here it's looping back from the beginning. Now what we're going to do is adjust, maybe get it to about, you know, somewhere halfway around, round about. And then when we play the note, it'll start at the beginning, but it'll loop from halfway. You know, that can help out if you've got like a nice bass sound that you want to use. You can loop it from the middle, you know, you get the, the nice attack and then the sustaining part. You can just loop it and then your bass note is nice and long. If you can make all the adjustments properly. And you know, just the same, you can adjust where it loops at the end. You know. Let's check out how that works. I've never tried that. Let's bring it down a little more. I guess it just makes it, it just cuts it off shorter. Nothing too exciting pretty much could have just uh, adjusted the end point as far as I can hear you know and that's just uh, s uh, some of what you can do with the th these controls in the NNXT we're gonna make another uh, we're gonna go into another video where we're going to show a little more of what you can do with the with all this other stuff here that I can use you know 